Isn't your alarm usually set later? I swear, you usually get up later. <sighs> get up, stare at your phone, shuffle to the bathroom, sit on the toilet for way too long while looking at your phone again. <laughs> all the time when we were little. It's no different now. I mean, except for, you know, your morning posture. Mmm, <laughs> blushing this early. You're welcome for redirecting your blood flow. <laughs> Why are you here? Why are you here? That's sad. You're making me think you don't like having me around. I'm your oldest friend, you know? I know everything about you. I can't even count the number of sleepovers we had. But just because I initiate one non-consensual sleepover, I'm suddenly getting grilled. Sheesh. <sighs> okay, fine. Here's the thing. I was thinking about those home movies of us playing in the sand. You know, the ones my dad shot. And it made me think that we don't talk like before. You used to tell me all your hopes and dreams. You're so focused on other things. It's like I'm not your number one girl anymore. Remember how you used to tell me that? You're my number one girl, Riley. <laughs> okay, sure, that was in middle school. Whatever. <sighs> anyway, I got bummed out. And so I just tried to go to sleep. But my room was too cold. I felt like I was drowning in the coldness of your absence. And so I thought to come here. And remind myself what a warm and wonderful person you are. How we're still so obviously best friends. When I got here, you'd move the spare key. And I had to climb in your window. And then you were asleep already. And I was exhausted from breaking in. And walking so far from my house. So I just crawled in bed with you to take a quick nap. <laughs> Except my quick nap did turn into a full night's sleep. And here we are. You don't really mind, right? You're just making a stink because you're surprised. How can you actually be bothered when I do something like this? <sighs> Imagine this. Your private party is going off without a hitch and then crisis strikes. Your blow-up entertainment springs a fatal leak. Don't be the guy who brought the wrong toy to the main event. The next time you and the guys are looking to spice up your night, consider Pumped Up Inflatables Party Sheep. They come in a variety of realistic colors, from white to black. With their lifelike udders, anatomically simulated ribbing, and airlock technology, you and all your buddies can be sure that your farm fantasy won't fall flat. And we're not just blowing hot air. You can find these frisky field to farm lovers wherever inflatable sheep are sold. Act now, and you'll also receive a coupon for 50% off your next purchase of a busty bovine Betty, complete with real milk sacks and inflatable bucket. 
Don't wait. These deals are moving on fast. Old McDonald Inflatables Incorporated is not responsible for any and all injuries sustained while using our products. Plastic is not rated for skin contact. Side effects of using our products may include, but are not limited to, getting a rash, giving your mom a rash, being disowned, no longer being able to count sheep to get to sleep without ejaculating, having to go into the Witness Protection Program, being gifted a fursona you hate, dying from drinking unrefrigerated milk, socially dying from bringing our products to any gathering with more than zero people, constipation, and divorce. Please consult your local sex shop employee before purchase. Pumped up inflatables party sheep. Time for some bad behavior. See? I put a drawing of us by your bedside so you'd have something to keep you company while you're doom scrolling. <laughs> Aren't I so thoughtful? Oh. There's a bit of dirt on it from when I was carrying it here. I'll just get rid of that. <laughs> there. It's all better. Oh, don't give me that look. It's just a small smudge. You can still tell it's us. And we're having so much fun. And we're both happy and alive. What? I didn't say anything. <laughs> I won't force you to look at it. It'll just be over here. <sighs> What's on the agenda for today, huh? We could watch a movie, or go to that new park. Ooh! Or we could even go shopping for those new clothes you told your mom you needed. <laughs> I wasn't spying on you. Your mom asked if I would help you find something stylish that fit when I saw her the other day. I'm too paranoid. I hardly ever follow you anymore. <sighs> At least your mom still knows how close we are. Unlike some guy I know. <laughs> mm. Mm. That sounds like a great day to me. Going to the mall. Helping you try on outfits, holding hands, holding your bags, eating shaved ice, eating your shaved ice leftovers, riding home with the windows down, and then we can go through your closet to organize your new stuff and get rid of anything you don't need anymore. I'll even take your giveaway stuff to the thrift store for you, and I definitely won't hoard your clothes for myself by sewing a life-size doll out of them and then I'll sleep with at night to breathe in your scent. Hmm. Although your closet is pretty sparse already. I bet you don't have anything you want to get rid of. <laughs> That's okay. No need to go to the thrift store then. <laughs> what kind of clothes do you really need anyway? <laughs> I thought I heard your mom say that you... needed... underwear. So like, boxers and stuff? That's cool, too. I can totally wait while you're trying those on at the store. I'll even let you know if they look good. I know they usually come in packages. But I mean, come on. You have to try them on. Underwear is super important. For not only your comfort, but your... <laughs> big boy health. You can't chance... Damaging your package's well-being by buying packaged crap. <laughs> I'll help you pick out the softest, warmest, most comfortable, nice underwear that will caress every inch of your... Does your house bump in the night? Are you tired of your belongings moving about seemingly on their own? Do you suspect that you have an unwelcome guest of the paranormal kind? Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll keep going. Okay. <clears throat> um, uh, then you need to call Poltergeist of Ghost Begone and Sons. 
He has over four years of ghost hunting and exorcism experience, as well as his own patented poltergeist capturing equipment. No one else in your neighborhood has spent hours becoming accredited online through Sunnydale Supernatural Community College, or has had their toe bitten off by a rat that was very likely possessed. <laughs> Paul Turgeist offers a fair and honest price and a money-back guarantee should your residence become haunted again in the next six months. Call today! Paul Turgeist of Ghost Be Gone and Sons. The sons are ghosts! What? What does that mean? Don't settle for spooks. Get the phone books and call Paul Turgeist. Perfect legs. <laughs> what? A friend can't say you've got good thighs. <sighs> Look. <sighs> I know you changed schools a while ago. And I know we don't keep in touch like we used to. Like for some crazy reason, you don't even have my phone number saved in your contacts anymore. And I know your mom's memory isn't what it used to be since she got institutionalized, and she still thinks we're in classes together. But can't you just be chill about this? <sighs> I'm a girl in your bed who really likes you. I'm your best friend, and I know everything about you. Even what is hidden in this room right now. It makes you blush. It makes you worry. <sighs> you can't turn me away when I'm so obviously someone who belongs in your life. <sighs> My room was too cold and empty. It was so cold and empty. My whole house was like this abandoned shack, and the wind was whispering things. Bad things I don't want to hear anymore. In fact, is it just me, or is it getting cold in here, too? Hmm. We better snuggle up closer before we head out to the mall. Yeah, let's just have a lazy day like we used to. And then everything will go back to the way it was before. Before you stopped visiting me. Before a big accident. Before everyone else stopped being able to see me. Before my family moved away and left me behind in that old crumbling house. Who are you calling? Better be someone to fix the heater in here. You're shaking like a leaf. We can't have you catching a cold, and getting sick, and maybe dying, and spending forever wandering the earth hoping your friends won't forget you. Get out of bed, bestie. We're going to the mall. <laughs> <laughs> 